Hi there. Isn't it great to relax in your favorite campground on a beautiful day with nothing to get stressed out about? I bet you're with me on that. But today I'm not in a campground. I'm in the garage. And I'm not relaxing. I'm going to install yet another upgrade on our home on wheels away from home. At least it's not a repair project. I had plenty of those. Today I'm going to install the new Drainmaster Ultimate Sewer Hose Storage System with permanently attached hose. Our trailer is a 37 foot carriage carry light fifth wheel. It was factory equipped with Drainmaster 12 volt electric dump valves, but it also came with the standard cheap plastic hose, which I replaced with a Drainmaster hose several years ago. It has the cam lock connector system, which works much better than the standard connector with the plastic pins that break off. I did a short video on that installation for Doug Swartz of Drainmaster because I really like the product quality. Now Doug has a new product designed to make it fast, easy and clean to dump your tanks. It's so easy your wife may even volunteer to do it, but it's likely not a good idea to tell you you bought this system for your wedding anniversary. Doug's new product is a second generation sewer hose that is permanently connected at the RV discharge end and stores in a box. Now all my wife has to do is open the hatch and pull out the dump station end of the hose. Yeah, right. Doug has partnered with Lippert Components, who I guess build the parts, and it's called the Wastemaster Hose Storage System. You can check out Drainmaster's website for information on how to determine if your RV will accept the kit before you purchase it. Our unit is a little different than many, as the holding tanks hang down below the level of the main frame and are protected with an insulated cover. This protrudes down a few inches and makes the standard installation impossible. Another difference is that many RVs have an I-beam construction. The kit comes with a sheet metal bracket that fastens to the underside of the I-beam and the storage box hangs off it. It would mount like this. However, our unit has a rectangular tube frame construction and as I said, the holding tank cover hangs down lower than the underside of the frame. Therefore, I can't use the sheet metal bracket. I'll find a use for it somewhere later. I've rounded up a few steel parts around the garage here to recycle. Earlier this season, I decided I didn't like how much of a bow the tank cover has in the center. So I made up a couple of brackets and mounted a one inch square tube running front to back where the holding tanks are to physically hold up the tank cover. Now, of course, due to my great thinking ahead skills, I managed to place this tube in pretty much the perfect place for supporting my new sewer hose kit. I had a couple of steel angle brackets hanging around the garage that I thought I could use here. So my plan with these two brackets is to bolt them to the underside of our tube frame and span them with a piece of angle iron. Here's a look at how that worked out. Then I made up two lengths of one inch steel thin wall tube and had my friendly welder weld on a couple flat pieces which will allow me to bolt them to my original tube running front to back. The other end of these tubes rests on the angle piece as seen here. These tubes are spaced out to match up with the width of the whole storage box. Now it's just a matter of screwing the box up to these one inch tubes. This has allowed me to mount the storage box up as high as I can to the holding tank cover keeping as much ground clearance as possible. I've also mounted my box close to the front wheel of the trailer. I could have moved it closer to the tank discharge fitting, but then it would have been covering part of the access panel that comes off to allow me access to the Drainmaster electric dump valves, should I ever need to change one. I did have one fail, and Doug actually sent me a free replacement. There's another aspect to the storage box ground clearance. Doug says that if you draw a line from the bottom of the front tire to the top of the front jack on the underside of the trailer, Nothing should be below that line to avoid the possibility of it getting hit on uneven ground. You can see here that even though the storage box looks quite low, it's still above our line by about three and a half inches. So now I've got the storage box mounted. The last step is to rearrange the sewer pipe to line up with a hole I'll cut in the side of the storage box where our Wastemaster hose will connect. A big part of this entire kit is the new hose, which now has a 4 to 1 collapse ratio instead of the old 3 to 1. Check out the difference in length of the old and the new. That's important because it allows you to access more of those not so conveniently located dump points. 
Another feature of the new hose is that it snaps into place and stays there as you expand or bend the hose. The old model didn't do that. One other part supplied in the kit is this little device that will allow air to automatically enter or exit your hose when the discharge valve end is closed. I mean, if your dump valve is closed and the dump station end of your hose fitting has its valve closed, the hose isn't going to expand or contract very well. The air has to be able to get in and out, and that's the function of this device, which is threaded into the cam lock fitting and should be mounted vertical on the top side. Of course, you could simply eliminate this device and crack open this valve a little bit, but that tends to defeat the need of keeping your holding tank fluids off the ground and into the dump station. The kit also comes with a length of hose that allows you to remotely locate the vent if necessary. Well, that's about it for this project. My installation was more involved because of constructing the frame to hang the storage box from. But for trailers with I-beam frames, the sheet metal bracket will be quick and easy install, and then it's just relocating the discharge point. If you're not inclined to do your own installation, you can visit Drainmaster at their Hollister, California location, and they will install it for you. I haven't been there yet myself, but they are less than one hour from Monterey and Santa Cruz. Now you can have a faster and cleaner run through the dumping station. No pulling out a cheap hose from the rear bumper or out of an internal storage pipe such as we were doing. Just open the hatch and pull out the hose. It's so easy and clean your wife can do it even without a pair of gloves. Let me know if that actually happens. We also have a Drain Master extension hose and it's easy to disconnect the main hose and add in the extension. That likely won't need to happen very often. You can purchase your Wastemaster hose storage kit by contacting Doug Swartz at DrainMaster.com. He's treated me really well both times I had an issue come up and I know we're going to love this new storage system. I think you will too.